game instead of out of the game because I just forgot to hit record. Um, kind of silly of me, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I wasn't talking. I, like, I forgot that I was recording. It wasn't that I forgot to hit record. I just forgot straight up that what I am doing right now is, uh, is actually recording and not uh, just playing the game. <laughs> you know? It's like so habitual to just uh, start up a game and then in you go, you know? But, um... Yep. <laughs> so we're starting the game. I like starting out of the game to show you the uh, map and um, title, or not the title, the like perk and difficulty and like all all that information that's on the starting screen. I like I like starting you there just because, uh, in my opinion, it gives you the information that you need. It lengthens the episode a little bit. All of which are good things, but that's uh, okay. It's okay. Can you forgive me? I can forgive me. I'm pretty good at forgiving me. I have yet to do something that's a... Uh... No. I was about to say I have yet to do something that I can't forgive myself for, but no, that's a lie. Are we going to talk about what I, uh, what I can't forgive myself for? Mm, no. <laughs> no. Maybe another day. It's my regrets, man. It's my deepest regrets. I don't know. Maybe I've talked about them before. Today, I don't really want to. I don't really want to be a uh, you know, Debbie Downer too much. I don't want to be an Eeyore so much, you know? We've been negative a lot lately. And uh, today, well, we're going to be fairly neutral because I'm still in a bad mood this week. Okay, get out of here, dudes. And we're going to try to be less negative, which uh, as somebody who's not in a particularly happy place right now, it's uh, yeah, probably, probably mostly neutral. <laughs> Uh, next week I'm looking forward to, though. Next week I'm looking forward to quite a lot more. I mean, it's just, you know, you, you start up a new job, it's anything's going to be stressful, right? The first few weeks of your job, like, I, I wouldn't even been getting paid yet, you know what I mean? I guess I'd probably be getting paid if it was a, if it was a real job. I've been doing this for, uh, this is the third week, I believe. I believe this is the third week that we're doing this. Yes, the third week. It's been 17 days. It's the 17th day that... Oh my god. Just immediately... Just... Yeeted out of existence there. Like, holy... That's why crawlers and stalkers are... The scourge of my existence, man. Can I, can I zap you guys? No. But I can yeet you guys. Hey yo. I know that this does work. I don't know when it works. And when it doesn't, though. Oh well. I hear a, I hear a something I don't like hearing though. That's okay. Whatever comes at us, we have a nine mil. Nine mil's good enough usually, for anything. Nine mil's good enough for anything, man. You ever in a situation you're like, hey, what gun do I need? Deagles. Can't get Deagles? Glock. Can't get a Glock? I don't know, AF-2011s? So MM-1911s? Maybe, uh... Like a Rhino? You take a, uh, Compound Bow? You know, maybe... An M-14? EBR, you know? M-22's not too bad. Where does the 9mm play into us? Nowhere. <laughs> if you're ever in a bad situation, the 9mm is not the gun you want, but it is a gun that can handle it. I thought I was going to say the 9mm is a good gun, that's the only gun I ever want. No! There are a billion other guns I would take over a 9mm, man. Get some, get some dually 9mm's out there and never use them. <laughs> Maybe we'll try a 9mm run. 9 mil only, you know? Think we could do it? I bet I could. It wouldn't be very fun, though. Because it would mostly be just running around looking for ammunition. Or bashing everything. It would probably boil down to just, like, a lot of this. A lot of, a lot of this, you know? A lot of this. <laughs> it would just be... 
a lot of a lot of this, and then uh, a little bit of this, but not much of that really. Come on, man. How do you how do you headshot this boy? Excuse me, dude. You can like just sure just. But I don't have to do that because I have uh, I have deagles, my uh, my preferred guns of choice, the best guns in the game. Okay, you're in a situation you need a gun, pick a deagle. Deagle first. Always remember, when you're in trouble, pick up a double deagle. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, I'm going this way. I uh, wasn't accurate enough to make that actually like the right choice. I was not accurate enough. If you're accurate enough, you can push through like some pretty hefty packs, but you have to be like super accurate about it and make your way through really quick while you're getting chased down. Otherwise, they're the right choice would have been to go down this way, uh, but I would have been ambushed. I didn't want to get ambushed. Wasn't super super into the idea of getting ambushed personally. Oh, hit the hit the stupid button, dude! Hit the stupid button, man! Pull the lever lever! What if I don't want to pull the lever lever? Huh? You ever think about that? You think about that? All right. What are we? What are we gonna talk about? Something. Uh, something that doesn't matter. Pick a topic. All right. Any topic. Let's. Uh... You guys ever get people gifting you games randomly on Steam? You know, just friends, and, and they always leave like the, the dumbest stuff in the, the message thing. It's always the dumbest stuff, right? And uh, I do I do the same thing, right? Like if, if somebody, if I gift somebody a game randomly, I put the dumbest stuff in the in the thing. It's always the dumbest stuff. You'll you'll, you'll like send somebody a gift of, on Steam or whatever, and it's like send them a message, and you're like, hey, big dummy, play this game, dummy. Or something stupid, just terribly stupid. I love, I love it. That's it's my favorite part of being gifted a game, is because you, you get to read the message that people come up with. Because uh, you always want to, you, you have that opportunity where you can put like some kind of a reference or a joke or an inside joke or you know you, you have you have your opportunity to to pull off some humor, you know, a brief moment of. Uh, of funniness that uh, that you get to to do for for your for your friend who you care about enough to gift a game to, right? That's that's the important thing here. So you're gifting a game to somebody who you care enough to gift the game to, and uh, it's like, of course you're gonna put something stupid in there. They're your friends. Why wouldn't you? But that's always my favorite part of receiving games because the games themselves. I'm like I don't know. I'll, I'll buy the game myself if you like. Tell me you want to play it with me. Like I'll I'll, I'll pick it up. I don't the, the the price isn't really that big a deal. You know, like I don't really mind. Um, but uh, it's always the um, it's always those little messages. They always make me. And that's true of like a lot of things, honestly. Cause um, like birthdays, right? Like I don't like birthdays. I like birthday cards though. You know, I like birthday cards. I appreciate cards. Don't like the gifts. You, know, you put money like I get. To, it took a long time because I didn't like gifts. I don't know if I've done it. I had a rant. I think I might have deleted it because it was a little bit went a little bit too far. I think. But I don't like gifts. I don't like taking them. I think I uploaded one, but there was one where I really went into it. Anyway, uh, I don't like gifts. Not my cup of tea. I do like cards. And it took me a while to convince my family to stop giving me gifts because I don't want gifts. Uh, I will throw your gift in the garbage if you give me a gift because I don't want gifts. And if you're giving me one, then you're just being selfish and trying to appease yourself by feeling good about yourself by giving somebody else something, even though they don't want it. You just feel good about yourself for being so generous and and, and caring and kind, and you know. Um. Anyway, uh, I don't uh, I don't like gifts, so they go in the garbage. It took a long time for me to to train my my family. Into knowing that took a lot of gifts in the garbage for for them to, to get used to it. I'm like I don't know, I don't really care. You you I, I told you not to give me a gift and you, you got me a gift anyway. It's going to garbage. I don't I don't I don't open it. <laughs> it's it's garbage. 
I literally do not want it. I want to not have it because I just I hate the idea of the uh, of this, this obligation so much. Um. Anyway, uh. So like even after they stopped giving me gifts, they would still give me money. So like they they'd give me cards and there'd be money in the cards, or there'd be a check in the cards, or there'd be gift cards in the cards, or or whatever you know. And uh, I'm just like. No, <laughs> I, I still don't want that. Like that that's still a present. I just I, I don't want your your money. I just want I just want the the card. The card is good enough. That 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 that's 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 all I care about. Um So for for like a while I'd get cards or whatever. And the first thing I would do with them is I'd just open them up and then just like dump out all the contents on the floor and then read the cards cuz I'm like you got to make a show of it, right? Gotta make a show of it so people really know that, like, you really just do not care. It doesn't matter how much is in there, you don't want it. It, it could be, like, $5,000 in there. You, you're not even gonna give it the, the time of day to look at it, you know, because you just don't care. And, uh, so I would do that. And, uh, I always find it funny when they put money in. I'm like, you, you didn't learn? <laughs> Nowadays, I don't get presents, though. Nowadays, I don't get presents. My uh, my parents have learned. My sister was always pretty good about it. My dad was also always pretty good about it. Um, but uh, my mother was kind of hard uh, hard about it, and my uh, my grandmother was also pretty annoying about it. You know, they want to give presents. I'm like, I don't want presents. They're like, well, can't you just accept one for me? And I'm like, well, it's kind of like not your birthday. It's my birthday, and I'm the one that doesn't want the dang presents. So no. <laughs> um. So uh. Took took a while to get it, but uh, nowadays I don't get presents. My grandparents on my mother's side, they're too old to even remember that I'm getting older every year anyway, so... I don't even... They, they don't even get happy birthdays from them half the time, because uh, they just don't even know what my birthday is, you know? Nah, I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that, you know? I don't, uh, I don't go over there for them to celebrate my birthday. Because um, it's, not, it's not important, right? Like... To me, I feel like uh, if I were to be like, hey, it's my birthday today, you know, they'd be like, oh, and they feel bad because they didn't get me anything, you know what I mean? I'm like, I just don't care about it. <laughs> so, I don't know, birthday's never, never really been an important part of my life, personally, but, um, cards are. I like the cards. I like the cards. People that give me cards, I appreciate it. You know, a nice, uh, homemade card. That's uh, that's, that's more. I mean, that's a lot more to me than uh, than any present could be. You know, you can buy me a car. I don't care. I'll give the car to somebody else. <laughs> you know, like I just I don't want presents. It doesn't matter what the present is. I just the the idea behind the obligation of a gift is just uh, in and of itself just silly to me. I still like it. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter what the gift is. If it's for my birthday, like uh. I don't want it. You know? I really appreciate gifts when people are uh, just kind of picking up a gift because they were thinking of me. That that I appreciate, you know, because that's that's where like you know they, they people say like it's the thought that counts, right? And uh, you know, in that case, it is it is the thought that that counts. You know, people people were out and about and they they thought of you and they bought it. They didn't have a reminder. You know, it wasn't like on their calendar. Make sure you buy Charlotte a present. You know, they didn't have to be. They didn't have like uh, a notification on their phone when they were out shopping. Like, make sure you have presents for all these people. You know, like they were just out and about. They saw something. They're like, "Oh, Charlotte would like this." You know, that's one thing to me. But uh, just just the whole idea of birthday presents and like it's just it's an obligation. I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's all about the gift of giving, you know. But um, just don't get it. To me, it, 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 you know, tinfoil hat on, except not really because that's this is what it is. Okay, wake up, sheeples. <laughs> it's just it's just a ploy by like, uh, you know, manufacturers of uh, presents to make you buy more presents and, and sell all this useless garbage to you. Like, it's not it's not a thing. There, there's no there's no gift to give in here. There's no spirit of that. Okay. 
You can have a perfectly happy Christmas. Perfectly happy birthday without getting a single present. You can. Okay? It's, it's totally, totally doable. Because um, it's more about... For me, anyway, it's more about the people. Um, except I don't have many people in my life that I like. Well, I don't have many people in my life. So there not being many people in my life that I like, it, they largely tend to kind of coincide with each other. <laughs> um, at least not in the... Like where I live, you know? Uh, but it is, it is more about the people for me. More about the, the thoughts than anything else. And, uh... Yeah. Anyway. There's, there's my other ramble on birthday presents and Christmas presents and... A tinfoil hat theories. Except it's not a tinfoil hat. It's like literally the way it is. Wake up, sheeples. Stop buying Christmas presents. <laughs> if you like buying Christmas presents, you do you. I don't. That's all. I don't get mad at people who buy Christmas presents, you know? I get mad at people who buy Christmas presents for me. <laughs> you know? That's the... You know, when they're, they're forcefully involving me in their, in, their, in their stuff. I'm just like, I just... I don't want to take part in this whole... Thing. Where we go out and we give money to people... And then pretend like it's being given to the people who we care about when in reality the, the garbage that you're giving them is usually not going to be used for like more than a couple of days. And then uh, it's really the big companies that end up with a whole bunch of money and they're like, haha, good Christmas season. I guess we can just take it easy for January. And then like I'm kind of messed over for January because like, you know, you usually have a harder time finding a job in January and you have a harder time um making money in january as a contractor and you can't really do a whole bunch of things and if you'd like to bring papers or something like that like you're, you're, you usually go down in the on the uh, on the value there because there's just less advertisements because people aren't trying to sell as much that's like, like the whole point of christmas is that it's all about selling stuff it's not really about giving stuff but about people selling stuff to you and then you buying it and you giving them the money and then this whole like monopoly and this whole consumerism thing but anyway that's enough about that how do you guys feel about oranges i like oranges I like oranges a lot. I go to this, uh, this one Japanese place. I don't go there. I get somebody else to go there and then bring me the food. <laughs> it's, it's, the new, it's the new thing. Um, I, don't, I don't go anywhere. You think I'm, I'm going to leave my house? I'm a YouTuber. Dang it. Um, but I, 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 I order from this, this one Japanese place every now and then. And, uh, like, I don't like oranges. I've, I've been on my strawberry rant before, okay? You know, it's not worth eating a strawberry because it's just so much work to get into it. To, like, eat it. And, like, it, it tastes good, but it doesn't taste good enough to outweigh the additional work that it takes to eat the strawberry compared to other things that also taste pretty good and have fairly similar nutritional value. I've had my, I've had my rants about strawberries. Oranges are in a similar boat. You know, oranges, they, they're not, they're not coming out on top here, okay? Oranges, also a lot of work to eat, and also, in my opinion, generally speaking, not worth the work to eat them. Now, the exception to this are like mandarin oranges, the little tiny things you get around like Christmas time, typically. Those are delicious. If you like a nice sweet one of those, nice juicy sweet one of those, mmm, delightful. Love it. I will, I will eat all of them, okay? But, uh... Like an orange, you go to the store, you just buy like a nice big, nice orange. It's not worth the work to, to eat the orange. You might use it. I might use the orange in, in things. You know, like when I'm cooking, I don't mind because I like the cooking process. But if I just want a snack, or if I just want a snack, like uh, I'll take a banana or an orange any day of the week. Bananas are so much easier to eat, you know? God made them with these perfect handles. I'm kidding. We made them. <laughs> we designed them. We, d we designed the banana. The Cavendish banana. We made it. It's like the most genetically engineered piece of anything in the world. Uh, but oranges. They're not... Uh, if, I'm, if I'm cooking and I need like orange zest or orange juice or something like that, that's one thing because I enjoy the cooking process. and Like it's all fun, right? And like it's more... It's not about the... The eating it, but it's about the making it too, and the, and the making it is fun. But with your, if you if you take an orange, you have to peel the orange, and then you like eat the orange. I'm like, look, the orange tastes good. All right, don't get me wrong, the orange tastes good, but but 
there's the small problem that uh, it's just so much work to eat it. <laughs> it is too much work to eat the orange, and um, except that it's a small little mandarin oranges. Those are delicious, and they're worth the work to eat it. Okay, don't 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 put off oranges as a whole, but uh, just the big oranges. Okay, little, the little ones are good. Little fruits are always fun because they're cute too. But uh, yeah, if I need orange zest or orange peel or orange slices or something in it, like I'll happily make a, a dish that involves it because I enjoy the cooking process. But you're not cooking an orange when you're when you're snacking on an orange, right? So, uh, so my opinion of oranges is that they are not worth eating, generally speaking, unless used in a uh, in a dish that requires oranges. But anyway, this Japanese place near me. I, uh, I order from them all the time and what they do right what they do is they uh, they open up the orange and they get you get just one slice of an orange right like one of those little like bits of the orange you know like one segment of, of orange what are those called one one like it's not a slice because it's like set it's like separated are they individual fruits inside the orange or are they uh, or is it one fruit that's like segmented I don't know like, is, is it one container for multiple fruits, or is it one fruit with multiple, like, fruit-like things inside of it? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> um, the, the different segments. They, uh, they take a segment, you get one segment in your, in your like, bento box. And, uh, this fruit that they, they give you, this segment, they've, like, they left the peel on, but they, like, cut it almost all the way out just like follow it all the way almost to the end so you can just pick it up and it like hangs off by like a, a little thread at the end kind of like a little bit of an inch of uh, peel left on it you know maybe a centimeter and uh, you just get to pick it up you get to bite it right off and it just peels right out and oh it's so good I'm like I don't even know how you guys left the peel on that like I want to know how you cut it like this because this is this is an incredible technique that will make oranges so much more enjoyable to eat. I've never looked up how to do it though. Cause like the peel is left on, but it's 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 separated into the segments and I'm like I've how do you know where the segments are if you don't if you don't peel it first. I assume that what happens is um the top kinda gets like peeled off, like they like cut the top off of the of the peel. And then they can see the segments, they separate it, cut the peel down where the segments are and then uh you're good to go. I'm not sure though. There might there might be like a, a specific trick to it. But that's looking at it. That's kind of what I'm uh, what I'm feeling is going on there. I'm like I don't know, man. This might make this might make orange. This might be revolutionary. You know, it might make oranges a, a bearable food to, to snack on at times. You know, you just cut it up a little bit, prepare your orange, and then uh, munch away. And uh, you know, maybe maybe the orange isn't better than the banana from a uh, enjoyable to eat standpoint you know because the banana you can't eat it doesn't get better than the banana okay we have literally designed the banana to be easy to eat however maybe the orange isn't uh, isn't that far behind maybe it doesn't quite uh, not make it when I drink with my water bottle like this it gets all like whoa dude I can even talk like this Whoa, man! <laughs> what are we doing? What am I doing, dude? What the heck, skis? I don't even know, man. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like, and subscribe, see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye, 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 bye.